New at 11. Now we all know Big Brother is watching us somehow, some way, to some extent. But as a sign of these high tech times in 2013, we've got an eye opening look at exactly how we're being watched at all, just about all times, depending upon where we go. So while many of you could be worried about this, there are some who say this is a good thing when it comes to our safety and fighting crime. Only on 7 tonight, Tom Rousey live in Chinatown to explain why. Tom? And you know, Allison, there really is a lot of debate about whether or not this is a good thing. But one thing is certain, you cannot so much as take a step in this area without being captured by multiple cameras. And it may stun you to learn just how many cameras are around here in Chinatown. It's hard to say how long it could have taken the FBI to find the Boston suspects if so many cameras hadn't been rolling. If something happened in D.C., it would be the same story in busy areas. Take Chinatown. Well, it may not surprise you that there are cameras in a neighborhood like Chinatown. What may surprise you is over the next block or so, just how many cameras are capturing our image. When you walk down 7th Street, you're constantly on camera. Verizon Center's watching you, and Gallery Place has plenty of cameras, too. Heck, Clyde's Restaurant alone has two near the entrance. Then there's less obvious ones. Outside a bar and entrance to condos, the ATM. You're being shot from on high and down low. There's so many cameras, they capture a lot of different angles. Whereas that camera right there would make it look like this microphone was the only thing in my hand, that camera would clearly show that I'm actually holding an umbrella behind me my back. Now, if this were something more sinister than an umbrella, those multiple camera angles would sure come in handy. And if you leave the street and take the metro escalator here, you will not be leaving the security cameras. And you won't be on camera just once, but you'll be on camera a whole host of times. Police say they use the cameras all the time to fight and solve crime. Many locals are glad they're there. The fact that they could pick up on any suspicious activity in the neighborhood really keeps this place a lot safer. But some say having more than 20 cameras in less than two blocks is too much. It's just weird. I feel like they're just staring at me. Others say, if anything, they'd like to see more. I'd rather have a thousand cameras considering what happened in Boston. And of course, there'd be far more cameras than the ones we showed you because so many folks have cameras like these on their phones that take either video or images. And of course, up in Boston, that was a huge help as well in coming up with the images of those suspects up there. Live tonight in Chinatown in Northwest, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. <laughs> I think it's clear Tom likes those cameras. <laughs> Tom's everywhere. Nice going, Tom. <laughs>